Sons of Rohan, my brothers. Today we are going to play Rohan against Hard Army Mordor in Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the patch 2.22 on the brand new map Forts of Prunen in a 1v1. But we are only allowed to recruit peasants and Rohan heroes Theorin, Eome, and Eovin, and they have to be mounted. And of course, we are also allowed to recruit Meriadoc Brandybog as Theorin King, kind of make him or mate him to a peasant hero as well. And once again, this map is not finished yet. Many, many textures are still missing. So, excuse me. But again, everything is going to be done very, very soon. And you will get the chance to play the upcoming version also very, very soon. And hopefully, in this game, I will be able to explain you guys the changes we have implemented into the new version. For example, every hero now will give you the information about the recruit time of each hero. And when they die, they will also give you the information about the revive time of each hero as well as giving you the information about like for example the rohan farm how long it takes for you to build that because we wanted to make sure that you have as much information as possible to understand the game i've been playing battle for middle earth for many many years and i was still, you know still surprised when i you know figured out oh this is the real number really you know because always you was assuming but never really knowing now we will give you the information you deserve so you know what is going on. <laughs> Alright, so basically the plan is simple. We will be building multiple farms inside the castle and outside of the castle. And the Rohan farms are very, very strong because they are the only resource building which also acts like a barracks. Which makes Rohan's early game very strong. But I've never ever made like an army of peasants yet. So I don't know how efficient this is going to be. Later on we will also build the armory of course of Rohan. To give those peasants some weapons you know like heavy armor forge blades so they can hit like a truck kind of i mean they are not going to be the strongest units and also remember in the patch 2.22 we nerfed them we made them cost a bit more money let's cloak to orbit let's also recruit one more peasant and load. let's close the gate shall we i think closing the gates is the best bet you saw what i did i was placing the hobbit behind the peasants this way the hobbit was able to share experience with the peasants and got level two even though he didn't get the last hit on the lair so let's not cash float keep investing the money the second we have enough for the farm which is 350 wait for the third peasant and there are the orc archers remember orc archers got buffed and also mordo got actually a lot of back uh, buffs not back sorry no bugs hopefully but a lot of buffs in the patch definitely there is Gollum. smeagol is his name let's build one more and then the last spot we can also build a farm for now but again later on we can demolish the farm and build the archer not archery sorry armory instead Gollum, what are you doing oh yeah scream all you want Gollum. okay let's build a farm for now we have um in total three farms outside which is pretty nice there is another farm so basically on this map you have like um two free farms on each side we wanted to make sure that this map is symmetrical and also this map exists kind of in the same way in battle for middle of two however not with these textures the problem is with battle for middle of one you have quite big limitations in your possibilities like you cannot use the same assets and also the same textures like you can use in battle for middle of one I personally wanted to add like battle stances, for example, into the units and also heroes, but unfortunately, this is not possible. At least we don't know how it's possible. So if you guys have information, uh, let us know in the comment section down below. So let's recruit um, Theodin King and then Eomir and then Eovin. And after that, we will be building the armory and we'll be making a army worthy of the Riddermark without Riddermark, without Riddermark units like Rohirrim. Who needs Rohirrim in 2021? And also the, um, the slaughterhouses are tanky now, by the way, if you don't know. I can't show you because I'm not, I'm the enemy player, so I can't show you like that, but they are tankier. And you can see the Rohan heroes now, Theorin, Elmi, and Elvin. They will be entering the battlefield while being mounted. It's also a change which was not the case in the patch 1.06. But on this, this challenge, we are not allowed. Did we lose the Hobbit already? My, my goodness, the Hobbit got actually blown up. We will need a little bit more for Elvin. Now we have four farms in total, which is not bad. And also, uh, what we did is we lowered the price of the Fossan Gate for both the factions, Gondor and Rohan, from 300 down to 150. I gotta be honest, I believe... 
I still believe that 300 is a little bit too much for the post on gate. Uh, even though you might argue and say, yeah, but then now you can just close the gate. Yeah, but 300 is still too much, you know? So let's wait for the peasants and then we can creep the goblin layer. There has to be a goblin layer if I'm not mistaken or maybe a troll layer, a uh, work layer. On this map, Forts of Prunen, there will be only work layers and goblin layers because troll layers in Battle for Middle Earth 1, unlike in BFME 2 and unlike in Rise of the Witch King, are extremely hard to be creeped. So now, maybe we can, there is an outpost by the way, on each side, you see? And we can now demolish one of the farms and build the armory. Oh, oh my, okay. It's so fun to see those heroes like, they don't even have draft yet, right? So let's use draft. We shall win this day. I'm cash loading to mine, sorry for that. And also I will show you guys when you want to build stuff like farm, armory, and so on. It will always give you the information, the build time. 45 seconds, 30 seconds, and so on. For every single faction, not only for Rohan, obviously. And all these changes, you can get a look into them later on in the new version, which hopefully will be released by the end of this week. So stay tuned, please. We will win this day. We wanted to make sure that we can give you as many informations as we potentially can. And... Which is not only good for you, but also good for us. Because this way, we can also, you know, this can be helpful for us to make a more balanced patch in the future. So now, let's recruit some more peasants. Oh, Hobbit. Pet oh, Hobbit, Hobbit, Hobbit. Oh, my bad. My bad, Mariadoc Brandybuck. Oh, I'm sorry, Mariadoc. Don't help Pippin, please. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, yeah, I see under attack. I see. We lost the farm here, by the way, unfortunately. But it is how it is. Oh, that's not how it is. Please, Elvin. Not even close, baby. Come on. The calculated, you know what I'm saying? Calculated. Let's get all the upgrades. And also, up to, about the upgrades, you know, it will tell you the build time. 45 seconds, 45 seconds, 45 seconds. We are just working currently on the pet switch. Um, ideally, and that's like a plan for the future. We want to make sure that you have like an auto update possibility in the pet switcher. It means whenever we actually come up with an update, you need to click on one button only and it will automatically update your patch to the most recent version. You know, that is, that is the plan. For the king! For the king. If only one single peasant here, that's not enough. Heavy armor is ready. So we might be forced to peel back with the heroes though. And also losing the map control kind of hurts. You see, that is Gollum. So it's kind of bad. And the thing is, we also don't have too much time because we gotta win until the Mordor is able to get some, you know, monsters like trolls and so on on the field. So let's recruit one more wave of peasants. And again, isn't this beautiful that you can use your production buildings, you know, and resource building at the same time in one single structure? That's kind of busted. For that reason, by the way, we nerfed the peasants, made sure that they are a bit more expensive. They used to cost only 100. Yes, they are not the strongest swordman in the game, but they are the ones you can recruit from a... They are unique because this is the only swordman you can recruit from a resource building. Come together, my friends. Gotta wait for more units, by the way, and then we will be using draft once every one of them is on the field. Now we can open the post and gates number two. Let's give them heavy armor. This way they don't get killed very soon. And also build time. 10 seconds, 10 seconds, and so on. And Steering King is tanking. We have also two power points collected, of course. I mean, that's kind of self-explaining. We are not allowed to use army of the dead in this one. We might need to use the Elvin allies, though. Because there was once an alliance between men and elves. As Hydra would like to say. Okay, we are winning this fight because we have heavy armor that makes us quite strong. Theoden is kind of low. Did you guys also know that the smite ability from Eowyn can be resetted if a hero dies nearby? It means if you use smite now and one second later Theoden or Eowyn dies next to Eowyn, she will get the chance to use smite again. That's nothing from our patch that was always implemented in Battle for Middle of One. Just to make it like in the films, you know what I'm saying? This way. This way. This way. Alright, Theodin is level 4, but unfortunately we have not the chains or uh, the freedom to use the... Hold on a second. Please, Gollum, stop it. Come together, come together, my friends. Hold on a second. We gotta... Look, Gollum. 
We need to reclaim the map control. What is happening here? He has lots of Haradrim. Let's use heal right off the bat. Um, there is an outpost. He might have captured this one. Looks like he did actually capture this outpost right here. That can be also our first target. Let's build another farm here and make another wave of peasants. We will need that. And also we can make them outside. That's the beautiful part about the Rohan faction that you can recruit them from in... Hold on a second. We need to take down these catapults. They are painful, as you guys know, to deal with. However, when you get into the melee range, you can literally one-shot them. So we need to defend this first. The farm he has rams now, by the way. <laughs> this guy is going nuts. Double siege works on me. Come on, dude. Don't do that. Alright, we need to reclaim map control. That's the plan. So let's send a couple of these units there. Alright, I believe... Oh, what is that? He has siege ladders now? This is so meme, you know? It's also something you see only AI doing. Because the siege ladders normally... Let's be real, they don't have a crazy amount of impact on the game. We have so many peasants now. Holy guacamole. Can we kill this? Yeah, it's, it's killable. I mean, of course... They won't make it uh, to our castle. Rally to me. We are able to defend ourselves for now. That's dope. And also, let's try to get this outpost at the bottom left side, shall we? I mean, peasants are actually not weak units, by the way, guys. Especially when they have heavy armor in forge blades. You can see and tell yourself. They are actually quite efficient and reliable. I mean, of course, uh, if he ever gets go some, uh, get, you know, get some trolls or, or movement kills... Then you have like little to zero possibilities. That's why we have Elvin and Elmia. That means we can, in the worst case, throw spears from both the heroes. We're also gonna make three more farms here. And again, keep recruiting more and more peasants. We have a full wave of peasants around this. And let's give them heavy, heavy armor first to make them a bit tankier. Let's build three more farms. And yeah, that's the beautiful part. Because as we are trying to get more peasants, we are automatically getting more money. Can we kill this troll, though? That's the question. I don't think so. So we need to kind of distract him and try to take down his castle or something. Oh my goodness. He has also lots of units on the field. Let's use Alvin Wood to give them... Um, I, I, <laughs> guys, I am seriously... I need to go to, uh, to see a doctor. I have not seen that coming. I gotta be honest. You know what I'm saying? I have not seen that coming. This guy, in the meantime, is destroying my entire castle. That's what's happening. The troll almost got taken down, but close is not close enough. Looks like we are able to win this fight, luckily. Oh my goodness, we are also broke. He's using Haradrim uh, Call the Horde. You see, Call the Horde is also now able to affect the Haradrim Palace. As you can see, the animation coming through. That's why we have to take it down ASAP. Let's use Draft. Kill this, please. I cannot believe that. That this is happening to us. I don't know. Should we go for the last march of the ends? No, no, no. We are not allowed to do that either. So please move. Please move. Just kill the production buildings and then we gotta peel back. I can also show you guys now the club break. No, I can't. I need to pick up the Alvin allies. So let's peel back for now a little bit. We need to build a well for the sustain. So we can heal up. We have also a couple of units around this side. Maybe we can continue attacking with them. So heroes, you guys join this wave of peasants. Looks like they have not the... See it. They have not the... Forge blades yet, but that's about to be changed. Oh, this guy is level 2. Let's troll. Kill him! Well, that's cheating. Okay, we killed him. That's, that's good. But uh, in the meantime, we are definitely uh, forced to make more peasants because our gate is broken and that's gonna cost us 1,000 to repair. So let's peel back for now. Let's go for the heal. Because he's going to get inside the jeans very, very soon. So now recruit more peasants. Build more farms. We are kind of broke, to be honest. Looks like we have lost every map control we had. So we need to reclaim it. Let's not use the level, highly leveled... Peasants for that? Alright, let's give them... He has fire on now too. Okay, that hurts. Let's give them heavy armor. You guys, get this. And try to reclaim some map control. Hey guys, please. Okay. Maybe we can defend ourselves. That's not looking quite easy though. 
A heavy armor, when you have to choose when you have to make a choice, always choose heavy armor over the forge blades. Because it's much, much more efficient. So now we need to go inside the base. Let's use King's Fever from Theodin to give them some experiences. We have six power points collected, seven is needed for our club break. In these lands, we will outlast them. Theodin King, can you please level up your peasants? You have my blessings, friends of Rohan. I mean, the pressure is real, my dude. The pressure is literally, literally real. We also lost this uh, farm right here, which is not the best case scenario, but it's fine. Could be worse. Now we need to distract them, but it's so hard with peasants only. Not only we are extremely slow, but also we are extremely slow. Uh, and that's a pretty big map to be on multiple sides at the same time. So we need to definitely make sure that we are replay, you know, repairing the gate very, very soon. We are surrounded. We oh, we, we forgot to heal Iowen. Let's use Shield Maiden for 50% more damage, uh, tankiness for 30 seconds. Come on, give me, give me the Cloud Break already. Give me the Cloud Break already. Come on. There we go. I'm going to show you guys the new Cloud Break. It's also able to stun the enemy units when they are level 2. Because fear effects in BFME 1 were kind of meh. You know, they were not the greatest things in the world. And now they will be a bit more impactful. Elme and Irwin. The siblings. Can you please take care of... Oh, here's a Nazgul now. Really? Okay, we smite it, but I don't think this is going to change too much. So we got to peel back. Oh, Theodine is here. That's why... Elvin is dead. We need to revive her. Elmi was inside the Citadel. What is what, what am I doing, guys? I'm, I'm really having problems with my eyes. I cannot believe what I'm doing right now. I gotta be honest. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. More peasants are required then. We need another full army of peasants. Full army of peasants. Um, One more farm. Peasant, peasant, peasant. Peasant, peasant, peasant. The problem is we are not having too much money and that's only my mistake my bad because i didn't make sure that tildin is nearby when tildin is not nearby you are losing a lot of tank a lot of damage output and tankiness however tildin got also nerfed he lose uh, he lost 20 percent of the bonus damage leadership to the nearby troops however now he will also give you the fear resistant come together all you want so okay just make more peasants more we need to reclaim this so once everyone is on everyone is on the field we can now use draft once again please move why are they observing that i don't get it but it's still in it i put tilden inside i don't know why am i doing this <laughs> Lord, I'm, I'm really con uh, you know very very confused now okay guys so you need to reinforce the rohan army we need to rebuild the well. And we also need to wait for Elvin. Because we will need something, obviously, to be able to deal with the Nazgul. And that's only Elvin. Talking about Elvin, she's back in the, on the field. We are, in the meantime, taking so much damage from the fire rose with Elmer. Theodin is attacking extremely slow. Let's not lose them. Let's use heal. Theod uh, please get dismounted, Elvin. We need also more peasants. You can see the peasants' strategy is falling off in long terms. So you know what I'm saying? They are not the greatest things in the universe in, in late game. So now, please take care of these. So now wait for the for the troops to arrive. We have Cloud Break on cooldown. By the way, there is a high chance that this guy might actually have Balrog very, very soon, you know? Because we are feeding him a lot. And we might be forced, even though it's kind of lame, I know, but we might be forced to use the Alvin allies from the Spellbook just to be able to deal with the Witch King. Okay, make sure that everyone is selected at the same time. Now we can use King's Fever from Therian to give them experience. This way, we, this way we don't need to invest 300 for the upgrade. And also Therian is able to level them up to level them up from level 1 to level 3 directly. Okay, we were able to destroy this outpost. That's dope. Let's buy it now. And let's keep moving on. So we have a reclaimed great amount of map control. That's the key to victory. We are a strong people. Let's use draft. And now, I think we should never stop making peasants though. That's what it is. So you know what? We can make a rally point. 
to this area and make them all gather around this side. That is Gollum. But that's fine. So, again, keep making units all the time. And also here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we can make another wave of peasants around this side. We can also go here. And you can also go here. If also Cloud Break now, let's destroy his eco first. To make sure that he has not enough money for even the second Nazgul. That would not be fun to deal with. So he has definitely... That is, there comes Elwin. Oh! I need to I need to summon, by the way, uh, the Elven Alliance. Because there is no way we can deal with two Nazgul's at the same time. If he uses Screech, that's fine. But we have a fear resistance from Ethereum. So we can't do anything. When Eowyn's might is on cooldown, we have nothing that can deal damage to the Nazgul's, you know? But I don't want to recruit any archers or something like that. Eomir, can you maybe finish him off? Eomir's smite is not dealing too much damage to the Nazgul. Unlike the smite from, you know, his sister. So, we took them down, but, you know, again, they will be respawning for free. They don't cost any money when you want to revive them. Top rig is available, but we don't need to use it right now. Elves, please peel back. You did what you was paid for. Come together, my friends. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, oh, Elmi, 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 I don't die, I don't die, I don't die. Actually, you know what? Let's wait for the, for the, sec, for the, for the massive wave. Like, you know, Gothmog was wrong. He was saying the age of man is over, the age of the orcs has come, and he was so, so wrong. Because the age of man might be over, but the age of peasants has come, my dude. Let's make a full co population of peasants. We have the money now. Which is pretty nice. More, more, more. And Gollum in the meantime is, you know, look, look this quick kid. Look this guy, please. He looks gorgeous, am I right? <laughs> look at him, he's like, what is going on here, you know? <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. Peasants for this. But, you, oh my, we are broke instantly. Let's not use give, give them the banner because we can use the King's Fever from Tyrion. That's gonna save us so much money. So, my friends, can you move to this spot, please? We are command points kept now, boys. We can not recruit any more units right now. All heavy armor. That's very important. That's going to make them tanky enough to withstand the arrow damage from the slaughterhouses level 3. I mean, at this point, like, there is a little to nothing he can do. I mean, he can make, like, two Nazgûls and a Witch King and many, many trolls. Like, then he, could, he can defend himself. But I'm assuming he has not the eco rights now to do that. We have great amount of map control, we have also the chains and the ability and the sustaining the economy to be able to upgrade every single one of these units. Without the need of army of the dead, without the need of um, the ends. We have only used heal, drafts, cloud break and one single time elven allies. And elven would also, just to make sure that they have a bit more tankiness, you know, in some certain uh, situation. But no ends are required, of course. More peasants are coming, but that's fine. We don't. We can just Q click at this point and then right click in his space just to see what is going on. Look at this. The last march of the peasants, boys. In German, when you're playing German, uh, you know, Battle for Middle Earth. By the way, in German, it's called Schlacht und Mittler. Eh? And when you select peasants, they will always see Mit Schilden und Schwertern werden wir siegen. And it means like, with shields and swords, we will be victorious, you know? And they were so right. Look at this, boys. What is going on now? The last march of the peasants. Run them down, literally. There is nothing. There is nothing but can stop these juicy peasants. I'm actually very tempted to play the Helm's Deep mission, you know, in Battle for Middle Earth 1 and recruit no archers, no elves, but peasants only. Because every time I was playing the campaign in Battle for Middle Earth 1, I was always with Rohan trying to get Rohirrim and Rohirrim archers. But peasants are also quite fun. Hard Army has been defeated, Mordor has been defeated on the brand new map, Forts of Brunen, which hopefully will be completely finished until the next release. And again, the next version, version 1.1 uh, of the patch 2.22, should be hopefully released by the end of this week. So stay tuned. Many, many great changes. But most of the time, it's like quality of life changes. Which is giving you much more information about either the heroes. I mean, like heroes, powerpoints, summons, units. 
like you will have the cooldown windows for everything what you need to know but is making the game a bit more also beginner friendly thank you guys so much for watching i will see you hopefully next time until then keep hitting like a track and as always stay beyond standards peace out